when the sister who is your pure relation is not treated as a sister when the attitude of a person towards women is of indulgence and of lust then he develops the left vishuddhi when he develops a left vishuddhi very strongly and if he has a bad agya or if he has eyes which are roving eyes then this left vishuddhi causes lot of trouble left vishuddhi can be also caused by as you know by feeling guilty about things or nothing at all all these problems arise from vishuddhi but vishuddhi chakra has a speciality when the human beings raise their head upward from mother earth towards the sky when it raises its head towards the ether towards the sky then this vishuddhi chakra developed into a different dimension and people started developing the ego and super ego super ego was already developed but ego developed in such a way that it started suppressing the super ego that's how you have got conditionings on one side of the vishuddhi and ego on the other side when i told you the other day that you give up your free will in the sense that when you raised your head you did it through your free will with your power of growing that you had as animals after that now you have reached to the human level and to rise above the human level now you have to do is to seek your complete freedom and for that vishuddhi chakra is going to help you along on this vishuddhi chakra we have to really pay full attention it is such a complicated chakra it has all the vowels of a devanagari script emitting out of the sound of the shakti that is passing through it of the kundalini that is passing through it so all the vowels are heard on this chakra these vowels are as you know 16 in number without the vowel in the devanagari you cannot write anything vowels are the sustainers are the power that supports every consonant so it's very important that our vowels have to be fully nourished and respected the movement of the neck as you have seen in all international life if you see everybody has practically the same even those who cannot hear those who do not understand your language you can not like this you can say no like this everyone understand this is yes or no in some particular area of course they have little different type of nodding but too much of nodding of head is not a very good sign i have seen people in the west if you tell them something to show that they have appreciated it they'll go on <laughs> for quite some time <laughs> that's not necessary just have to say all right or i have understood it that's all you have to use your voice instead of nodding like this all the time it's very bad very very bad for the vishuddhi chakra or some of them are the other way now that whatever it is they'll put up their head like <laughs> and they won't talk properly they will not say a word they'll just keep quiet you may go on pinching them doing anything they won't budge this kind of personality is also very much detrimental to the growth of their evolution apart from that their vishuddhi becomes a very big problem because of vishuddhi there are so many problems like angina you develop because of vishuddhi you develop spondylitis because of vishuddhi sometimes people lose their voices completely 
Sometimes they have all the time coughing. And there are so many physical problems out of Vishuddhi because, as I said, it's a very, very complicated center. It looks after, after your ear, nose, throat, all the sixteen subplexuses are there, which are looked after by the center. But above all is the center of discrimination. The center of discrimination only comes when you are free people. Till you are biased, till you have your own concepts, you cannot be discreet. And that's the one point where one must understand that to achieve your complete freedom, you have to get your Vishuddhi chakra cleared up. First and foremost thing is that we must speak in a sweet manner. Speak to someone in a sweet manner, not artificially, but sweetly. Speak in a manner that another person likes it. Satyam vadet, priyam vadet. Speak the truth. Don't tell the lie. So nothing is uh, definite about Vishuddhi. Whatever may be the expression of a person, a person may look very innocent. Because that's the thing you can do with your Vishuddhi. You are free because you have raised your head. At this point you have achieved this kind of a special aptitude that <coughs> you can deceive yourself and you can deceive others. Some people look extremely innocent on the face. They may look to be very simple people, but may turn out to be hot. Some people may look to be idiotic, but may be very intelligent. So it is how you play with your Vishuddhi, which is, <coughs> which is responsible. <coughs> but the main thing, what I'm trying to tell you, that you can maneuver your Vishuddhi, the way you want to put your expression, the way you want to make your face, the way you want to suggest something, or you can maneuver and you can keep your heart away from it. In the heart you may have poison for a person, but outwardly you may say to that person in a very sweet manner something that the person might feel impressed. But in this, all this behavior, pattern of behavior, you are deceiving yourself, not deceiving the another person, because your sp self is spirit which knows you very well. And this will go on and on for all your lives that have to come. So there is no need in any way to be artificial in your expression. There is no need to hide anything in your expression. Of course, I mean, if you don't like someone, you need not just say, I don't like you. But in that case, you have to be not also so much appreciative of the person that is deluded into your appreciation. 